Well, hello. Good evening. Today I wanted to uh, put out a message about forgiveness. And forgiveness is not something that we don't know about. We already know what forgiveness is about. But today I'm not talking about forgiving others, but forgiving yourself. What would you forgive yourself for? A lot of times we tend to think that, you know, um, whatever we need to forgive has something to do with the outside, the environment of people, that it's they who need that forgiveness or we need to ask for forgiveness. But sometimes we also need to ask ourselves for forgiveness, our soul. Because we are here to learn about self-respect and self-love as well. Everything that we learn in life, everything that we apply in this world comes back to us, comes back to you. And therefore, self-love and self-respect is something that has to be a part, a very vital part of your very being here. And sometimes we hold on to too many emotions that we don't know how to express. And amongst those, I feel, is the lack of self-forgiveness. Why? What do you really need to forgive yourself for? Well, there are a lot of things, and we are not perfect. None of us are perfect. For if we were perfect, we wouldn't be here in the first place. So when we talk about forgiveness, forgiveness is about is what happens when you either allow yourself as a soul to go through some kind of difficulty in the hands of someone else even though you knew deep inside that you shouldn't be there for example if you have allowed yourself to stay in an abusive relationship even though you have received so many signs that it's time that you let go if there was a soul contract or if there was some kind of karmic relationship and even after all of that was served you still continue to stay in there because you're afraid of letting go you're basically abusing allowing yourself to be abused you're allowing yourself to go through the pain even though you don't have to be there so when you finally let go or when you're in the process of thinking how to let go I would suggest the most important thing that you need to do is to forgive yourself forgive yourself for taking that long to come up with a decision to decide even to let go to no longer feel the need to be abused to respect yourself as and and to respect the integrity inside you to understand that you don't have to do it to yourself you don't have to allow people to do it to you integrity is one of the least I would say the least um, addressed emotions least addressed issues because we are so obsessed with the whole being of a part of the society of you know of wondering what the society would think if I did this and if I did that you base you judge yourself based on what the society thinks you know and and half the time we don't even respect ourselves because we're so busy about what other people think about us we don't want to know what we're thinking about ourselves you see so forgiveness forgive yourself for allowing yourself to go through some things which you knew you shouldn't be doing or you shouldn't have to go through waiting too long for making decisions let it be an environment let it be a person relationships most of the time it's relationships with people who know don't understand how to love you who don't know how to appreciate you who don't know how to look at you and say okay you are a very important part of my life they don't see all of that and yet you stay something holds you back sorry about that so something holds you back and you tend to think that it's okay to go through that you need to forgive yourself start off in anything by forgiving yourself make this a part of your life path 
make it a part of it to what, respect your higher self to respect the person the soul you are on the inside and that is when you will realize that as you move on that peace of mind that you feel inside from forgiving yourself would be immense because then you would understand that you are important that you are as valuable as anyone else and you need love and you need to make decisions you need to get yourself out of toxic relationships or toxic environments because you value your being you value your existence sometimes ego gets in the way too and the other reason why it works both ways though sometimes we are like i said we're not perfect we, we, we were perfect we wouldn't be here in the first place so yes we do make mistakes we are not perfect it's not always about others it's about us too how many times have you misunderstood people how many times have you made mistakes that you you know maybe judged someone wrongly or did something to someone else maybe you didn't mean it at that point of time or maybe you did we do do things in our lives we're not very proud of but we may may not may, we may not understand how much it would have hurt someone else at a different point of time but when you do realize it you have to forgive yourself for what you did forgive yourself because without that forgiving yourself you will not be able to move on in life that 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 little that little scar inside you which you actually inflicted on someone else but you carry a shadow of that scar because you inflicted it so you have to remove that shadow before you move on because right deep inside your subconscious mind you will never forget that you did that it will always keep you know it'll just keep going around circles in your mind you may not remember it all the time but it certainly would be a part of you So a good thing to do is would be to forgive yourself for things that you have done to others and for also for allowing yourself to become what others wanted you to become. Forgive others as well as forgive yourself, but start from inside you because that is what will actually pave the way for forgiving others. When you forgive yourself first, it opens up doors. which has never been opened before you need to heal before you heal through others before you heal others you need to heal yourself so even if you played the role of a victim in an abusive relationship you have to forgive yourself for having gone through that accept the fact that yes i went through this and i forgive myself for allowing that to happen because it could have been karmic at some point of time usually abuse of relationships could be karmic or soul contracts but sometimes we just allow it to go way further than it was even intended to be if you feel there is pain inside i do from a relationship of the past from any incident of the past you need to look deeper inside you and ask yourself Did you forgive yourself for this? Did you look at yourself as a soul who has gone through pain or who has inflicted pain of some kind and you need to let go of that? Always get to the root of a problem and not just heal superficially. It's very easy to say, "Oh well, you know, I forgive myself for this. I forgive that person." But are you able to go back and tell that story without feeling angry or sad? The day you can do that is when you have really forgiven. The day you have you're able to tell your story without shedding a tear or feeling any kind of frustration, anger, that's when you have completely healed. Until then it still remains, and it's not necessary for you to heal overnight. What's more important is the quality of the healing and not how fast you do it. I hope this message reaches out to a lot of you because I think that each one of us needs to go inside first and heal and forgive ourselves before we even move on into other relationships into any aspect of life from now God bless you and thank you so much namaste